The belief that someone is thinking about us when they pop into our minds adds a touch of enchantment to our daily routines, suggesting there might be a deeper, possibly spiritual connection at play. Imagine those instances when you suddenly think of someone a recent acquaintance, a friend you haven't seen in years, or even a stranger you briefly made eye contact with. These moments can be both intriguing and a bit unsettling, leading us to wonder if there's more beneath the surface of these fleeting thoughts. Could there be some invisible energy or spiritual bond linking you to that person? The idea that our thoughts could be intertwined by some unseen force is captivating and a bit dreamy. It prompts us to think deeper about human connections and consider if our relationships extend beyond the tangible world when the same person keeps coming to mind, it's natural to question why you might find yourself pondering, why can't I stop thinking about them, or what's the real reason they're stuck in my head? These persistent thoughts could arise from various sources like spiritual connections, energetic links, or simply out of curiosity and attraction. Or perhaps these thoughts are a subconscious nudge to get in touch, renew an old bond, or share an important message. This shared experience of thinking about each other could also mirror our own emotional needs, and states at times reflecting on someone else serves as a way for us to deal with unresolved emotions or distract from present concerns. This process can provide valuable insights into our feelings and relationships, ship perhaps pointing to a need for closure or a new connection. Moreover, this kind of experience might act as a silent form of communication. On some level, our thoughts might transcend typical interactions hinting at a deeper spiritual connection with others. This could suggest a common destiny or shared purpose that links us to specific people for moments that are brief or bonds that last reading and rewriting text with a fresh perspective and simpler terminology can make it more accessible and engaging. Here's how the paragraphs could be reframed along with two new sections that continue the theme. Sometimes you might find yourself constantly thinking about someone because of a deep spiritual connection. This connection often feels like you're linked on a soul level. Some people referred to as your soul family share a similar inner essence with you. This kind of bond creates a strong, almost unexplainable attraction. You may feel like you've known them forever. Even if you've just met your soul family, could include anyone from a lifelong friend, to someone you've only encountered briefly. Moreover, romantic connections might stem from what are known as soul contracts. These agreements are made before you were born deciding the experience and interactions you'll have with certain souls in your life. This could be with a soulmate or in more intense cases a twin flame who mirrors your exact soul frequency. This profound connection can make the person feel omnipresent in your thoughts as they reflect and reveal your deepest layers. Such soul contracts often guide you through various life stages, providing growth and reflection they shape. Significant relationships, fostering both challenges and support as you navigate life's complexities. Recognizing these contracts can offer insights into why certain relationships are deeply transformative when you encounter a twin flame. The experience is not just about connection, but also about personal growth and discovery. This intense relationship challenges you to evolve and confront parts of yourself that may be hidden. It's like looking into a mirror that shows not only your face, but also the parts of your inner self that are usually out of view exploring these connections. And why you might be fixated on a person helps in understanding the deeper, often spiritual reasons behind your thoughts. By delving into the nature of these relationships, you gain clarity and learn how to handle these profound experiences more effectively. This exploration is not just about discovering why you are drawn to someone, but also how this connection is instrumental in your personal and spiritual development meeting. Someone who feels like part of your soul, family can really stir up your emotions and thoughts. You may catch yourself going over old conversations, imagining what you might say or do together in the future, or just feeling like they're with you even when they're not. This connection isn't random. It's a deep, energetic bond that's strong enough to influence how you feel and keep your thoughts coming back to them, whether it's a close friend, a soulmate, or a twin flame.
This bond is more profound than casual friendships. It's a powerful energy exchange that breaks through the limits of time and space, creating a deep understanding and unity that's hard to put into words. Sometimes you can't stop thinking about someone because they're probably thinking about you too. It might sound cliche, but it's true. Our thoughts emit vibrations that send energy out into the world. When someone keeps you in their thoughts, they're sending these energy waves towards you because you're sensitive to these energies you might. Find yourself thinking about them without even realizing why every thought you have adds to the energy around you. When someone else focuses their thoughts on you regularly, it forms an energy connection that links you to, like an invisible thread. Tying your minds together, this link gets stronger over time and lets you feel their thoughts energetically. Have you ever suddenly thought of someone right before they called or messaged you? That's not just a fluke. It's this energy connection in action. Their thoughts are so focused on you that they reach you on a subconscious level in influencing your emotions and thoughts. Understanding this might help you see why sometimes people pop into your head unexpectedly when someone constantly thinks about you. Their energy impacts you, tuning your thoughts to their frequency especially when their thoughts are strong and persistent, making you think of them without any obvious reason navigating these connections, shows that our relationships aren't just built on what we say or do, do physically, but also on how we connect energetically. These bonds can show up when you least expect them, deepening your relationships in ways you might not fully grasp, but definitely feel this shared. Energy not only brings us closer, but also enriches how we interact adding depth that goes beyond normal conversations as we tune in more to these energetic links. We begin to appreciate the intricate dance of thoughts and emotions that connect us, paving new paths for understanding and interacting with those in our lives. This realization opens up a world where energy plays a crucial role in how we relate and bond with each other, transforming ordinary interactions into meaningful connections that resonate on multiple levels. Grasping the hidden connections that link our thoughts and feelings to other people is essential for good mental health. By acknowledging these ties, we can actively work to either strengthen these bonds or protect ourselves from harmful influences that might drain our energy. Sometimes the reason you can't stop thinking about someone is simple yet meaningful. It's genuine interest. This spark of interest can be ignited by even the smallest interaction. Whether it's a brief glance, an engaging chat, or a significant moment you've shared as you think more about this person, these thoughts begin to build up, establishing a constant presence in your mind. You might find yourself lost in daydreams about them milling over what they might be doing or looking forward to your next encounter with anticipation. These reflections often start unconsciously and sink deeper into your mind over time. Considering that the subconscious mind controls about 95% of our thoughts and behaviors, it plays a crucial role in shaping our emotional and mental realms. The more frequently you think of someone, the more fixed their image becomes in your subconscious, prompting you to think about them repeatedly. This ongoing fixation can start to affect your everyday mood and the way you interact with others. When someone takes up such a prominent space in your subconscious, it influences how you perceive other relationships and what you expect from them, prompting a deeper investigation into your emotions and why you are drawn to some people more than others. This pattern goes beyond simple interest or emotional connection. It's a complex psychological embedding process as you explore the reasons behind why certain people linger in your mind. You might uncover patterns that tell you more about your own emotional desires and needs. This understanding can be incredibly useful for personal growth offering insights that guide your interactions and relationships in the future. Picture. This you just met someone at a party who really stood out during a brief but lively chat. They made such a strong impression that in the days that followed, you couldn't help but replay your conversation over and over, dissecting each word and imagining what future conversations might look like. This initial fascination deepens and suddenly you find yourself thinking about them all the time. It feels as though they're pulling you in. Yet it's actually your own thoughts that keep bringing them back, making them linger. 
This can sometimes lead to a sense that you're not fully in control of your own mind. It's essential to recognize that this is a completely normal part of how our minds work. Our brains are wired to pay special attention to new and interesting things, whether that's someone you just met a compelling idea or a captivating story. We naturally focus on what excites our mental faculties. The more you think about this new person, the more they become a fixed idea in your thoughts. It doesn't necessarily mean there's a deeper mystical connection. It's just the way our brains operate acknowledging that you can't stop. Thinking about someone is an important first step. What you decide to do next is crucial. If you feel a strong connection or believe that this, this person has a unique energy that resonates with you, have the power to decide how to respond. You can choose to pursue a deeper relationship or protect yourself from these overwhelming thoughts and energies. Whatever suits your emotional and mental well-being. Best, as we explore why certain individuals remain in our thoughts, it becomes clear that our own thoughts have the power to shape our energies and attract similar vibes. This connection isn't solely about our relationship -ship with others. It also mirrors our own internal states. Actively engaging with these thoughts can profoundly shape our understanding of our wants and fears, helping us decide. Whether to welcome these bonds or establish boundaries to safeguard our health, this kind of self-reflection opens up ways to grasp the nuances of human relationships and interactions more fully by understanding and managing these mental dynamics. We are better equipped to make choices that influence not only how we interact socially, but also how we grow personally and maintain emotional. Stability such insights into our thought processes. Empower us to handle our relationships and personal journeys better, fostering a life that is both healthier and more harmonious. Deepening your connection with someone can be wonderfully rewarding achieved through a blend of simple yet powerful strategies. A positive mindset about the person you're connecting with sets. The foundation. Visualizing happy. Moments and engaging conversations not only enriches your bond, but cements lasting emotional connections. Diving into activities that encourage closeness, such as genuine talks and sharing new adventures, plays a pivotal role as well. Using meditation tools that tap into your subconscious can align your deepest day's desires with your daily intentions, radiating good energy towards that special someone. However, if these thoughts weigh heavily on you, or if the relationship seems more draining than beneficial, there are constructive ways to create emotional space techniques like energy clearing and adjusting your chakras can cleanse your spirit of negativity. You can also use visualization to erect a mental shield, safeguarding you from less positive outside forces, investing in self-care and redirecting. Your focus to enriching activities and relationships can revitalize your control over your own mental well-being. The ability to shape your emotional and mental landscapes is in your hands, and actively crafting these aspects of your life can be incredibly rewarding. Recognizing the fluid nature of your relationships and emotional ties enable a you to make choices that foster your personal development. Enjoy additionally being mindful of the influence of your environment, and consciously choosing a positive meal can significantly boost your overall happiness and lead you towards a more balanced and peaceful life. A heartfelt salute to each of you who've accompanied me on this adventure. Your involvement means the world. If you've delighted in the experiences we've shared and are eager for, what's next, I warmly invite you to hit the subscribe button. I deeply value your support. I'm also keen to hear your voices share your thoughts and personal stories in the comments below, and let's continue this enriching conversation until our paths cross again. Take excellent care of yourselves.